Hey, beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul, in case you're new here. We are here for a pick a card reading, and today's pick a card is going to be all about what the blockages are between you and your specific person, the specific connection you have in mind. I'm going to get to the bottom of that for you here today. We have three different piles to choose from, or rather three different cards to choose from. Now, of course, if you feel drawn to more than one card or more than one pile, that is just fine, especially if you are asking about more than one person. Please listen to your intuition. Take a moment to pause the video if you need a little bit more time to make your selection after I introduce all three of the cards to you. For pile number one, we have copper. Oh my goodness, excuse the kitty cats. For pile number two, we have the Benevolent Guide. And for pile number three, we have Antimony. So again, if you need more time to see which card or cards are calling to you the most, you're welcome to pause the video and then select your pile or piles from the timestamps I will link down below in the description box. I will see you over there. Hello there, my lovely pile ones. If you chose the copper card, this is going to be a reading here today. In case you skipped the intro and you didn't get the gist of it from the title, uh, this is going to be a reading about what the blockages are between you and your specific person. So I'm going to go ahead and get us started by pulling a few oracle cards to get a good feel of what the situation is to help you identify whether or not this is your pile. After that, we're going to hop into the tarot and I'm going to get some answers out for you. So talk to me about the situation with my beautiful pile ones, please. We have patience. Okay. So one thing that I'm getting right away, right out the gate for you is that chances are this has been a long-term connection or this has been a situation that has required a lot of patience on your end, maybe even from your person as well. This could be a rather slow moving connection or something that's never fully gotten off the ground before. So let me get a couple more Oracle cards. I'm gonna help you further identify whether or not this is your pile. Um, but yes, definitely it involves a lot of patience on your end specifically, maybe for your person, person as well. Could also be like a distance or something like that. That's another thing. I'm getting a lot of imagery in my head about travel right now. So it could be that maybe you and your person just literally can't see each other in person because it would require an expensive um, travel in order to see each other or something like that. And maybe you're just not able to see each other on a regular basis. We also have create. Interesting. And that's interesting because I believe copper has that type of energy to it as well. So it could be that maybe um, this has helped both of you to open up your sacral chakras because that's a very creative energy coming from that center. Maybe this person inspires you or you inspire them to do artwork or create music or some other type of art form. We also have compassion. So it seems like overall, the two of you in this connection, this connection seem to care about each other a great deal. And in fact, I think one thing that is going on behind the scenes of this connection in general involves just really caring for each other, even if you're unable to express that in the 3D, sort of rather just caring for each other from a distance or rather just not even talking about it, even if you do see this person on a regular basis. It could be that maybe there's just a lot of bottling it up inside, yet both of you are secretly sort of longing for each other. You have that sort of backbone of an energy going on. You just might not be able to fully express that towards one another in the 3D. And then we also have the Phoenix coming out. So in general, I feel like this has been a very transformative connection for both of you. Both you and your person have changed a lot. I think it's meant to inspire a lot of growth for the two of you. Um, and overall, it seems like a very peaceful energy that I'm tapping into right now. So I don't feel like there's a whole lot of ill will or negative energy exchange between the two of you. Um, in fact, um, I'm going to pull the tarot next, but I feel like a lot of the blockages that may be preventing the two of you from communicating or getting together in the 3D may be external blockages. Again, like money or um, 
like long distance or inability to express yourselves or something like that. I don't think it involves a third party or anything heavy. So anyway, let's hop right into the tarot portion. I want to see what the blocks are. We're going to be using the Neon Tarot first here, and I want to give a big shout out to an anonymous donor to the channel who got this off the Amazon wish list that I have linked in the description. Um, they went by the name Somebody, so Somebody, if you're watching this, I'd like to give you a big shout out and thank you, and a thank you to all of you who support my channel in general. Um, the easiest way you can support me is by watching my videos, especially the ads. But to those of you who feel called to donate with my Amazon wish list or super thanks, um, I just I want to express a lot of gratitude. It means a lot to me, you guys. It helps me to put more videos out here on the channel for you in the future as well. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your support, generosity, and kindness. Okay, so what is creating the blocks? What are these blocks? What is blocking this connection? First up, we have the emperor coming out. Okay, motivation. I'll be honest with you. There's something about motivation that's creating a block here, okay? So this could be coming from your person's end. Maybe it's coming from your end as well. But ju judging by the emperor paired with the seven of wands and the ten of swords, somebody in this connection is feeling defeated, almost as if these external barriers that are between the two of you are too much to take on at this time. Um, I feel like this is coming from your person's end, and these may or may not be, I guess, I don't really want to use the term real because they're very much real to your person, um, but I feel like your person might be glorifying them or over-exaggerating these barriers in their head, um, and it's kind of creating a lack of drive and motivation to actually come towards you at this time, and it could be self-esteem issues, it could be money matters, um, again, it could be long distance, but there's some type of external barrier that your person is like over dramatizing at this time and they're having a difficult time motivating themselves enough to get over that hurdle. So that's one thing that I'm seeing pretty strongly here. Okay, definitely could involve travel. This person could also be afraid of embracing a new beginning. Um, maybe they're you know, somebody who, I mean, they could, I just heard fixed sign, so they could definitely be a fixed sign that is, um, I want to say Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. Correct me if I'm wrong down below. I know Scorpio and Aquarius for sure. Taurus and Leo, I'm not, I, I think so. But anyway, aside from that, maybe your person is just really set in their ways and they're not the type of person who can make big changes rather easily. That could be difficult for them. Um, especially if it does require a lot of travel in order to get to you. Um, they just might be having a difficult time accepting the fact that some things are out of their hands and sometimes you need to be a little bit spontaneous and just go for it, okay? Um, maybe this person just struggles with motivation and drive in general. It's something that they struggle with. They could have some self-limiting beliefs um, or they just tend to get like, the feeling of defeat rather easily is one thing that's coming through. It could also be that maybe they have a lot of options, not necessarily in love, okay? I'm not really getting any other parties being involved here, um, but maybe they just feel like they don't know what they want to do with their life yet. They know that they have feelings for you clearly. They know that there's a lot of very positive energy that the two of you share between each other, but maybe they haven't quite made their mind up yet about where they want to go in their life in general and taking big risks and kind of just going for it on a spontaneous adventure seems a little bit scary to them at this time, especially since it seems like they're battling lack of motivation, lack of drive and a feeling of defeat. Um, so it could be that maybe their mind is just a little bit cluttered right now and they get easily distracted and they're having a difficult time coming through and actually sitting down and making a concrete plan involving you. That's one thing that I'm getting pretty strongly from them. Um, I'm going to do a couple of cards real quickly to get a future outcome prediction for the next chapter of this connection to see if the two of you are likely to travel to see each other or not. Um, and we'll also get some channeled messages. I'll do that for you as well to see what this person would have to say to you if they felt like they could be totally honest and open. So what does the next chapter of the Connection Pile 1 shares with their person look like, please? 
What does the next chapter of this connection look like? Okay, so first up we have the sword and the rose. We also have paradise. I'm gonna pull one from a different deck as well. Talk to me about what the future holds for this connection, please. Ooh, there's some secrets going on between the two of you right now. That's very interesting, okay? For some of you out there, this isn't long distance at all. This is just somebody who has a difficult time expressing their feelings, and that's what this big obstacle is that seems external, okay? Because we have two cards here indicating that there are secrets and revelations coming throughout the next chapter for the two of you. So this could be somebody who even just like, has never expressed to you that they love you before or that they have feelings for you or desires for you. And maybe that's just a little bit scary. And it could be that what, that could be another reason why we had so much come out in the very beginning with patience. Um, because maybe this person takes a really long time to feel comfortable and stable in opening up and taking the lead and going for it when they start to develop feelings for someone. So it's kind of giving me Knight of Pentacles energy. Um, very slow moving. This person may be very stuck in their ways. It's difficult for them to open up. Um, and then they feel very defeated rather quickly. This person could also have energy burnout pretty quickly. Um, but anyway... With the sword and the rose, we have clarity and truth, revelations, honor and protection, and determination. So right now I'm seeing your person having a lack of determination and motivation to come towards you. And it seems like during the next chapter, they're going to be getting over that hurdle and actually coming in and maybe confessing this to you, or maybe you're going to confess it to them and it's going to spark a whole new chapter for the two of you. And that's why this is brand new. Um, we also have paradise. Happiness and joy, playfulness, enjoying each other in honeymoon phase. So for those of you who are in like a long distance relationship or connection with this person, that could be indicating that in the next chapter you will be traveling to see each other or maybe you're just going to spend more time with each other in general, really enjoying each other's presence. Seems like there's going to be a lighthearted energy that comes into this connection as well. And then we have secrets, which I already chatted a little bit about. Something is hidden from you. Someone isn't being truthful. And I don't think that it's any heavy type of secrets like hidden partners or third parties or anything like that. Um, I really just feel like this is all about secret feelings, secret emotions. And that is what one of the blocks is between the two of you is this person seems to have a very difficult time being honest about their feelings with other people. That's something that scares them a little bit. So, But during the next chapter, it seems like you're going to have revelation about that. So very interesting. Let's get out a couple of message cards from them to you now. Would like to see what they would say to you if they felt like they could be totally honest right now. Okay. What would this person say right now if they felt like they could? I hid who I really am from you. And finding out the truth crushed me. So it could, yeah, this could definitely about, be about their feelings, but maybe they also kind of put on a little bit of a front for you. Maybe they were trying to make themselves out to be more impressive than they feel like they really are, and now their self-esteem is taking a hit because of that. We also have finding out the truth crushed me, um, and then I regret lying to you. So maybe this is them almost like in a reverse type of way feeling like you're going to reject them because they hid who they really are from you um, and now they don't know what to do because maybe they feel like you started developing feelings for them based on a false reality or a mask they were putting out there and now they feel kind of stuck. That could also be why it's taken a lot of time for them to come forward and talk to you about this. Um, but basically, it just seems like a lot of the blockages that are going on in this connection involve this person being honest with themselves about their feelings as well as you and some type of external barrier that they're having a difficult time getting through, okay? Uh, I wish I could take back my words. So maybe they also exchanged some harsh words towards you um, or... You know what? I don't even think that's the case. I think this person made themselves out to be somebody that they're really not. And for some of you, that could be severe. For others of you, you know, maybe it was just really minor. Like this person told you that they made more money than they really did or that they were coming to see you next week and then they couldn't afford to actually do it or something like that. 
Um, I'm, again, I'm really not getting a heavy energy from this reading. It seems pretty peaceful. It seems like overall there's nothing super severe going on in this situation. But your person is regretting how they approached this. And maybe they did tell you some secrets. Or no, excuse me. They told you some lies. And that's going to be revealed during the next chapter between the two of you. So very interesting you'll have to come back and let me know how that goes because i see the two of you having a conversation about this and being honest um so anyway we're going to seal off this portion of the reading with a message just for you it could relate to this connection or not if you've been really enjoying this so far and you're new to the channel i would love it if you would like and subscribe it is in fact the easiest way you can help me put more readings out there for you guys and we would love to have you join the awakened soul community I also have exclusive readings on Patreon and with my YouTube membership for roughly five bucks a month each. And so if you're ever interested in exclusive readings, you're welcome to check that out. That info is in the description box as well. If you find yourself constantly seeing reoccurring numbers or words, it is a sign that you are being supported, cared for, and divinely protected by the universe. Beautiful things are about to happen for you happen to you excuse me so that's for those of you out there who've been seeing a lot of angel numbers or um, recurring signs and synchronicities regarding this connection or not that's just reassurance that beautiful things are in store for you soon and to pay attention to those if people are gossiping about you or spreading rumors don't fall for it no one is worth lowering your vibration for let it move through you see it for what it is which is a reflection of their pain rather than the result of your actions very very true how people treat you is in fact a reflection about how they feel about themselves okay and i say that all the time on the channel for a reason you know when people when somebody is a jerk to you for literally no reason you didn't do anything to them at all that's a reflection of how they feel about themselves not you okay so try not to take everything to heart. Everybody is struggling. Everybody is suffering in their own way. And unfortunately, some people out there choose to take that negative energy and project it onto other people instead of going inward and seeing what that pain is within themselves and getting rid of it. But, you know, last thing we're going to do is get you your affirmation of the day. I invite you to read it out loud, write it down, or type it below in the comments if you would like to claim it. Today, I am persistent. Today, nothing will stop me from accomplishing my goals. Nothing will stand in the way of my happiness. And I love that. Very beautiful energy. I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here in case you aren't going to join me for pile two or pile three. I thank you so very much again for joining pile one. Have yourself a blessed day. Bye for now. Hey, pile two. If you chose the Benevolent Guide card, this is going to be your reading here today. In case you missed the intro or skipped through it, today's reading is going to be all about um, what the blockages are with the connection you share with your, your specific person, whoever came to mind when this video found you. I'm going to get us started by pulling a few oracle cards to get a good feel of what the dynamic between the two of you is right now to help you identify whether or not this is your pile. If you find that it resonates with you, there are probably going to be some messages in here for you today. If you find that this doesn't, maybe check out uh, pile number one or pile number three. See if either of those resonate with you. So let's get out a card. Talk to me about the dynamic between pile two and their person. Okay. Interesting. We have go for it with reach for the moon. I'm going to get out a couple more oracle cards. Talk to me about pile two and their person and the dynamic. Maybe this, I'm feeling riskiness. Maybe there's something about this connection that feels risky to one or both of you. Okay. We also have intuition. Let's get one more card from this deck and heal. Interesting. All right. So hold on a second, you guys. Let's get one more card out. I feel like this is a really powerful connection. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like this is definitely a higher level soul connection that you share with this person. We also have divine feminine coming out. So maybe this is your divine feminine or you resonate as divine feminine in this connection. That's one potential. But there's definitely something very divine 
about this connection. I feel like it's a higher level soul connection. Maybe some part of it feels a little bit risky to one or both of you guys. Um, however, I feel like it's really been challenging in a good way for both of you. It's helped both of you to maybe awaken your intuition or learn how to be more into your receptive mode to really listen to your intuition, understand it. It could also be that maybe this connection has helped you to understand the messages you receive from your divine team. Again, to listen to your intuition, to pay attention to the info you're given and your gut feelings about things. It may have also been just very healing for the two of you in general. Um, I feel like this goes both ways and the energy is very much mirrored in this pile. I don't think it's just for one of you or just for the other. I think both of you have awakened your intuition. I think both of you are receiving a lot of signs and synchronicities about each other and the connection and your own lives and everything here and there, left and right, up and down. Um, and I also feel like it's just been incredibly healing. Maybe it's helping you to tap into your own inner wisdom, to let things come to you instead of, you know, always chasing after it. It's kind of interesting because we have go for it over here, which reminds me of divine masculine energy and then sealing off the reading on this side is divine feminine. Um, and then it's almost like a divine balance that we have here with these two fish circling each other. First of all, Pisces could also be important in this connection just because you know, the two fish. I can't not say that, but um, I really feel like this connection is balancing you both. Um, it's helping both of you to heal, to develop yourselves, to grow. Um, again, there's something about this connection that might feel risky or confusing. Um, maybe both of you are a little bit cautious, but there's something about the magnetism between the two of you that's undeniable to both of you in this connection. So, if that sounds like you and your person, that this is going to be your pile here today, and let's hop right into the tarot. I'm going to start talking about what these blocks actually are. We're also going to get a future outcome prediction and some channeled messages. So let's hop right into it. But first, I would like to thank an anonymous um, donor to the channel who got this deck for me off my Amazon wish list. They go by the name Somebody. So Somebody, if you were watching this, thank you kindly. That was very nice of you to do. This is the Red Panda Tarot. And to those of you out there who have supported the channel in the past through super thanks or even just watching my videos, I really do want to give you a heartfelt thank you. Um, it's through your support that I'm able to put videos like this out there for you guys. So anytime you feel called to um, support the channel, I just really am humbled in gratitude and I'd like to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. So I appreciate you very kindly. All right. So first up, we have the Hierophant coming out here, and we also have the Page of Coins, which in this deck is the Page of Pentacles, but I feel like that's kind of self-explanatory, but in case I need to put that out there. Okay, let's get out a couple more. Somebody needs to learn how to apologize. That just came through. Somebody in this connection needs to learn how to apologize. <laughs> Somebody out there has is on their high horse a little bit. They might be a little bit egotistical, and I feel like this is coming from your person's end, okay? But somebody has to learn how to be honest and apologize when they do something wrong instead of keeping it all inside, okay? <laughs> um, in general, I also feel like there are more learning lessons that need to be had in this connection. That's one of the so-called blockages is that there's more learning to do from this experience, before it can possibly come into union. Um, you guys just aren't fully there yet. We also have the Magician. Yeah, this is a really powerful connection, you guys. This is a very, very powerful connection. And I feel like one of the purposes behind it is spiritual growth and development. Okay, so it could be that another one of the blockages is that maybe you and this person aren't meant to be romantic in this lifetime. Um, one of the primary reasons you're meant to know each other is for spiritual growth and development to help you heal your hearts. Yeah, there's a lot about healing that's super important in this connection. Um, Maybe something about this connection is being blocked right now because both of you or one of you is still holding on to a past love interest um, or past heartbreak in general. It doesn't even have to be romantic love. It could be that maybe there are just a lot of very deep emotional wounds that are still blocking you and or your person from being able to fully embrace this, okay? Um, and maybe that stubbornness to apologize or not apologize 
um, is one of the big learning lessons that has to be learned and established before this is going to be able to come into union if it's meant to, okay? Um, but this is something both of you are able to manifest if you choose to do so. It's just that you have to get over these hurdles. Um, and again, I really feel like the primary blockage in this connection right now is emotional wounds, stubbornness, and ego stuff that is preventing particularly your person from coming forth and apologizing to you for, for something. They're too afraid to apologize at this time. And it could be because um, maybe in the past they have put themselves out on the line before in other relationships and connections and have been rejected even after apologizing and pouring their heart out. And so now to them, it's something that's scary and it takes a long time for them to get to that point and actually learn that lesson um, and to be able to do that. So um, that seems to be the primary blockage. I'd like to see what the next chapter holds for the two of you. So let's do that. I would really love to know what the next chapter holds for the two of you. I'm going to follow suit with pile one's pattern, and I'm going to do two from this deck and one from another deck. So talk to me about the next chapter for pile two and this person, please, spiritual team. Pile two and this person. What does the next chapter hold? healthy choices, self-love and self-care, being happier, love and life. So it does seem like some healing is coming for the two of you in this next chapter. Oh, you guys. And then we actually had three. So that's what I get for saying I want to follow Paulo. 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 Is somebody's name Apollo or something? Um, file. <laughs> I can't talk right now. What is up with this? <laughs> follow pile one's pattern. There we go. I got it out there. So much for following pile one's pattern because now we have three. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to get another from another deck, you guys. Just, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this person just feels very tongue-tied. Overall, it seems like the next chapter is very lighthearted between the two of you. Seems very positive, okay? All right, so we have healthy choices. We already discussed that. We have coffee cup, meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated, building friendship, soulmates, soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life partner. We also have voids. Avoid rushing to fill voids with love. Seek inner fulfillment first, okay? So for some of you out there who are propping this person on a pedestal, or, you know, pushing your energy towards them, really hoping that they're going to come around, really hoping they're going to reconcile with you or talk to you or bring you clarity. Um, this could be saying that that's going to be going away in the next chapter. And instead of trying to seek validation and approval and love and energy and affection from another person, you're going to make an active choice to to seek inner fulfillment within yourself first and foremost, and to not try to fill that void with this person or this, this love that you're seeking right now with them potentially. Um, I see a lot of self-prioritization coming in this next chapter for both of you, and I think that's mirrored. Um, and through prioritizing the self and really prioritizing what you need to do and the healing you need to do and the love you need to be giving to yourself, it seems like it's actually going to be magnetizing this person closer to you. Um, and the two of you might actually reconnect and start talking to each other in the next chapter, maybe as friends at first. Um, and then evolving it into a partnership for some of you out there or just a really, really deep connection with each other. But first, it's going to have to involve a lot of healing, growth, and prioritizing yourself for both of you. I don't think that's just on your side or their side. Um, again, this seems like a very high level soul connection. It seems like something that the both of you are needing to work through. And then it's going to actually work out really nicely. For some of you out there, this could be a soulmate of yours or, again, a high-level soul connection. You definitely have a soul contract with them. This is somebody you were meant to meet in this lifetime to work through this healing, to work through these blockages with. So it seems like that's going to work out nicely for both of you in the next chapter. And I'm super excited for you. Let's see what they would say to you right now if they felt like they could be totally open and totally honest with you at this time. I'm going to get a few channeled messages out from them to you. What would Pile 2's person say to Pile 2 right now? I'm not available. Yeah, it does seem like they're a little bit closed off and guarded, especially emotionally. 
However, I do think that you bring them a lighthearted energy, or maybe you did in the past when the two of you were talking more before these blocks came up, and they missed the way that you made them feel. Um, yeah, this person does really long to reconnect with you from what I can see here. It's just right now they're not feeling emotionally available. That's another blockage. I'm not seeing another relationship being involved for this pile. It could be the case. Take that how it resonates, but I feel like that's more of like not being emotionally available, essentially. I wish I could share my good news with you. Could be that maybe um, contact is very limited between the two of you right now. Maybe you were just friends. I want to be more than friends. That could be part of it too, is that maybe this person originally saw you as just a friend or that's how you saw them. Um, and then deeper feelings started to develop. It got confusing, it got scary. And then maybe this person like needed to back away a little bit potentially because it was too overwhelming for them. Um, they also know they need to apologize to you for something and so I feel like they're just kind of scared and right now the main blockage is that they feel like they can't be truthful and express things to you. Um, whew, this is actually getting like as I have been progressing in this reading, like Pile One's energy was so calm throughout the whole time. It was very calm, relaxed, easygoing. As I have been continuing on this reading for you guys, Pile Two, my energy is like accelerating. Like I feel like I'm talking super fast. So I feel like this person is getting a little bit impatient. That's one thing I will tell you as well is that there's a level of impatience coming through from them to you. So my goodness. What we're gonna do now um, is close off the reading with a few messages just for you. I like to do that in all of my readings to help boost up the energy and give you a personalized message. If you've been enjoying it so far, I would love it if you would like and subscribe. Join us over here on the Awakened Soul family. We would love to have you. And if you are interested in exclusive readings, I have a Patreon and I also have a YouTube membership with different exclusive videos per each membership and you're welcome to check that out down below it's in the description box if you're interested okay so your messages from the universe today if you want to be more successful in life your priority should be to focus your mindset on all that you want to attract into your life trust that more is happening than what you can see many forces are at work in your favor allow them to help you and your second message we are always speaking to you and sending you messages. When you feel like you are alone in a situation, just know that you never truly are. We are reminding you to stop, look around, and believe in something else, something more. We've got your back. Beautiful. And the last thing we're going to do here is get you out your affirmation of the day. If you would like to claim it, you're welcome to read it out loud with me, write it down, or type it below in the comments. Today, I am flexible. Today I will adapt to changes in my life with an open mind and a positive outlook. Beautiful affirmation. I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here. I thank each and every one of you so much for watching here today. And in case you're not hopping over to pile one or pile three, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day as always. And I would hope to see you for a future video. Bye for now. Hey, pile three. If you chose the antimony card, this is going to be your reading here today. In case you skipped the intro or you missed it by chance, I'd just like to formally introduce myself. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. Don't know why I felt called to do that. Um, but anywho, today's reading is going to be all about what the blockages are between you and your specific person. I'm going to get us started by introducing the connection to help you identify whether or not this yeah, sounds like your pile. Okay, we're going to pull a few oracle cards to get a good feel of what the dynamic with this person is. If this sounds like you, great, you picked the right pile. If it doesn't sound like you and your person, maybe check out pile two or pile one. Okay, so first up we have face your fears, cold moon. Let's get out a couple more. What else are we chatting about with this connection? What's going on in this dynamic between pile three and their person? Okay, we also have balance. I just heard time's running out when I looked at that clock. Time is running out. That's interesting. Okay, 
Ooh, there's an element of impatience that's coming from either you or your person or both of you. You might literally be feeling like time is running out for some reason in this connection. Um, almost like there's a time limit or it's going to be too little too late soon. Because I heard time is running out and then right after that we got relaxed. So there's a need for both of you or at least one of you to calm down a little bit and stop trying to rush the process and to let things kind of just flow at their natural pace without forcing anything um, or freaking out about it, okay? Um, I feel like there's an element of riskiness that's coming through in this connection or bravery that needs to be had. Maybe somebody has been really has been single for a really long time and so embracing a new love connection feels scary to them. Um, they've been a lone wolf, so to speak, or they've been kind of going at it alone for so long that it seems scary for them to go in, whereas maybe the other person is feeling like the process needs to be rushing a little bit more than it is right now. I just looked up and saw 222 on the timer, by the way, you guys. Um, it seems like both of you are quite opposite. I'm going to be honest. Someone in this connection is kind of like lone wolf energy. They're avoiding it. Um, they are too afraid to embrace this connection while the other person feels like they want this to be going a lot quicker than it actually is and they're getting impatient with it. So there's a lot of resistance going on. Um, between the two of you and there's a need for you to go with the flow and to let things to fall and and allow things to fall into place how they're going to um, but there's there's a lot of opposite energy going on here I'm going to be honest with you you and your person seem quite different from one another so let's hop into the tarot if that sounds like your connection this is your reading we're going to hop into the tarot I would like to um well, I should clarify, I'm being a little overcritical in this pile, I suppose. I'm going to pull some tarot so that we can see formally what the blockages actually are between you and your person. Now, I do want to give a shout out to an anonymous donor who sent this deck in for the channel. They go by the name Somebody. So somebody, if you're watching this right now, I'd like to say thank you again for being kind and very generous to the channel. To those of you who have supported through Super Thanks, um, donations, watching my videos. I do want to extend a heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you. I'm so very grateful for your support. Um, it's things like donations and super thanks and watching through the ads that allow me to stay here putting readings out for you guys every day. So thank you kindly for everybody who supported the channel. I truly appreciate each and every one of you so very much. Let's get out a couple of these. Okay. So first up, we have the King of Swords. So yeah, somebody in this connection is very cold. They're very cold and guarded. They're, they're unemotional. They're afraid to be emotional. Okay. We also have Judgment. Let's get out a couple more. Yeah, because they've been alone for a long time. Yep, that's what it is. Somebody in this connection, I'm, I'm feeling it's probably your person, has been alone for a long time. Um, and it's caused them to kind of guard their heart to close off to the idea of romantic love. That's what the main blockage is here, is that they're not feeling ready to embrace it, to actually embrace a love connection because they've been alone or they've felt alone. Even if this person, you know, exited out of a long-term relationship, they felt alone for a very, very long time. And now the idea of being emotional and warm seems scary to them because it seems like they got their heart broken. Whew, this is spider webbing really quickly, you guys, okay? So we have the King of Swords, Judgment, the Hermit, um, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, it seems like a lot of melancholy, sorrow, lonesome type of energy is what the primary blockage in this connection is right now, and I feel like it's coming from your person. Um, again, whether or not they were in another relationship prior to meeting you, it seems like they felt alone for a very long time, or they literally were single for a very long time, and they genuinely just do not know how to open up their heart to love specifically romantic love anymore because they've been so cold and distant and guarded for such a long time that they just don't know how to get past that at this time however it seems like the universe has been trying to wake them up a little bit to that um, and actually one of the purposes of you and this person meeting seems to be to help them wake up and do that healing um because it's a sad place to be where we feel like we have to close off to our emotions completely and be so cold, stoic, and guarded all the time. But it does seem like that's the primary energy 
that is creating a block at this time. Um, and I feel like, yeah, again, it's coming from your person. They just don't know how to open their heart up to love right now. It's quite simple. Um, this might end up being a little bit of a shorter pile because there's not much to elaborate on um, with them right now. It's just they, they're sad. They got their heart broken in the past and it caused them to want to guard themselves and close off to their own feelings because it felt safer. So what I'm going to do is pull a few cards on what the next chapter looks like between you and this person. Um, I had such a tongue twister come out in pile two, I'm not even going to say it, but basically I'm going to try to do a similar layout to what I did for pile two and pile one, okay? We have Hammer, the next chapter between pile three and their person, please. Yep, that would make a lot of sense. Okay, that's good though, that's promising. Let's get one out from this deck now, okay? That's beautiful. We'll get one more, actually. I'm feeling called to get two from this deck, so let's do that. What does the next chapter hold for this pile, for pile three? Interesting. That came out in pile two as well, I believe. Maybe it was pile one, but that did come out. Okay. So the next chapter between you and this person, we have Hammer. Sabotage and Rebuild, Persistent, Working on it and Repairing. We also have Mirror. Mirroring each other, self-reflection, and introspection, inner wounds. Essentially, this is what's highlighted here for me. We also have right path. Love is a beautiful journey, and you're on the right path. And we also have voids. Avoid rushing to fill voids with love. Seek inner fulfillment first. You guys, I picked this up right away in the beginning of the reading, but this is giving me a classic avoidant anxious attachment dynamic where your person seems to be very much avoidant. Um, they're reluctant to open up. Fear of intimacy is very real for them where you might be taking on more of a chaser role. Um, you might be getting impatient because you want this person to open up to you so badly, but they just feel like they can't right now. They're very much blocked from it. So I feel like this is telling me that during the next chapter between you and this person, you might be, you know, wanting to pour more love into yourself instead of trying to fill that void through the affection from this person or lack thereof. And I feel like that's benefiting you during the next chapter. Um, and this is reassurance that you are on the right path. And this next chapter between the two of you is a part of that. It's a journey. You are, in, you are exactly where you need to be right now, even if it doesn't make any sense to you. And you will be where you need to be during this next chapter as well. Um, this is meant to heal both of you and to help both of you, or at least like kickstart that if you choose to do the healing and work on yourselves and um, you know, do that inner work. I feel like your person is going to be doing more self-reflection and introspection and maybe identifying some of the inner wounds that are blocking them from being able to communicate with you. Um, in fact, putting in a lot of inner work on themselves to be able to be a little bit more expressive and maybe open up their hearts a bit more. Um, I feel like the next chapter between the two of you isn't going to be a full-blown romance where, you know, this person is suddenly a hopeless romantic you know, swooping it, swooping you off your feet, sweeping you off your feet or however it goes. Um, but the next chapter just seems to be a lot of healing for both of you and a lot of inner work um, and maybe a little bit more connection in the 3D with each other because you've been putting in the hard work on yourselves. So overall, it seems very positive. Um, I'm excited for you. That's a good thing. Let's get out a few messages from this person to see what they would say to you right now if they felt like they could be totally open and totally honest. If you have been enjoying this reading so far, I would love it if you'd like and subscribe. Stick around for more in the future. We'd love to have you join the Awakened Soul family. First up, we have you speak to me through music. That came out in one of the other piles as well. I think it was pile two. Actually, maybe pile one. I want to feel that way again. So it could be that um, this person also tries to speak to you through music, especially since they seem to be a little bit closed off and guarded. Um, maybe directly telling you their feelings is pretty scary to them, so they might just send you a song or talk about a song or something like that to try to express to you. Either or, um, either that or this person receives a lot of music from you that reminds them of you, makes them think about you, um, and that's how they feel most connected to you at this time. Maybe both. 
possibly. And you know what? This actually is giving me, it's giving me kind of like a, I don't know how to label the emotion that it's making me feel right now or the energy that I'm picking up on because of it. But there's something about, because it's not nostalgia, it's not heartbreak, it's not melancholy, it's something different. When this person thinks about you and this connection, I feel like they're still very scared to open up and that's one of the blockages here. But you're also reminding them of how it felt to have a beautiful love again. So you're making them want to feel loving feelings towards you again, but at the same time, they're still a little bit wounded and scared of that, if that makes sense. So there's a lot of mixed emotions coming from that card. You inspire them. You, you, you might remind them of how they felt about love before they had their heart broken um, and closed off emotionally. But at the same time, they're also a little bit too scared to be fully open with you and honest about their feelings. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I definitely feel like that's the case. And this person may even be listening to music at night about you too, like as they're falling asleep. They might be listening to music that reminds them of you, makes them feel this way, that nostalgic kind of pre-heartbreak emotion that they're feeling. Um, we also have you were the best thing in my life. Um, you can also flip that to R if you're still talking to this person. I feel like you are a beautiful presence. Um, and I feel like part of them wants to give their heart to you. It's just they're, they've worked so hard for so long to close their emotions off that it's very difficult for this person to wrestle with that and figure out how to be emotionally open and available again. It's scary to them, um, but they really truly do care for you from what I can see here. So let's hop into the messages portion for you now. I like to close off all of my readings with a short message from the universe just for you. It could relate to this connection or not. I leave it open-ended for a reason so you can listen to your intuition about this. If you're ever interested in exclusive readings um, that aren't just on YouTube, I do have a Patreon membership and a YouTube membership, and both of those do have exclusive readings on them that I add to on a regular basis, so if you feel called, check that out. That's down below, and that's another way that you can support me and my work and the channel, so we'd love to have you over there as a part of that community, those communities, I should say, and we're going to get you out your affirmation as well. Perfect. Okay, so your messages. Don't be afraid to say I love you or thank you to those who deserve to hear it. Don't be scared of embarrassing yourself or appearing sappy. You will never regret a heartfelt I love you or a message of appreciation. You will only ever regret not saying it. So I feel like this message may relate to this connection for those of you out there that resonate as the maybe more avoidant person in this connection. Um, if it sounds more like you are the one that's closed off and this reading has been resonating kind of in the inverse for you, this could be a message for you. So it's going to be specific to those of you out there who feel like you are closed off to love and you are the guarded one in this connection. Um, you won't regret being honest about your feelings. Okay, your time is coming. Everything is coming together for you, but you must meet the universe halfway. Hold only a bright and happy vision of yourself with successful outcomes and don't allow your fears or insecurities to stand in your way. And then your affirmation of the day, if you would like to claim this, you're welcome to read it out loud with me, write it down, or type it below in the comments. Today I am responsible. Today I will make good choices that will bring me health and happiness. Beautiful affirmation. I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope you all have such a beautiful and blessed day as always, and I would love to see you again on the channel. Bye for now.